Sky is the storm-tossed comic book character out for revenge on the author who murdered his family. Jace is the nerdy comic book fan trying to escape his father's deadly legacy. When their worlds collide, Jace must choose between the real world he's always hated and the comic book world he's always loved. And Sky must decide if killing his author would save his world or damn his soul. Well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Jen Reads Without Pants On. Get some of those nice little page sounds in there for you. I love books. I usually like book smells, but this book doesn't have my favorite book smell. Anyway, so we'll keep going. Caleb and Jace. My dad and I lived in one of the gray buildings, not a red brick one. Mottled gray exterior, graying warped beige stairs, and the gray stained carpeting that scratched like sandpaper against the splintering bottom of our apartment door as I opened it. Mildew even smelled gray. I like your couch, Caleb said right away. It wasn't gray. I looked at him and back at the orange and yellow plaid ratty sofa that held so many memories of my mom, and I smiled. Yeah, it's ugly, isn't it? I smiled. A superhero team in my favorite comic has the same one. Yeah, uh, I like comics too. But he didn't elaborate. He just stood there, staring at the couch. Awkward. Hey, uh, let me grab food stuff. I ran into the kitchen. It was so small I could literally put both hands on the walls without straightening my elbows. And so yellow dad and I called it Twinkie Land. It was supposed to be white. I snatched the off-brand knot Oreos off the counter, wrapped my arm around two glasses, and yanked the milk jug out of the fridge. Back in the main room, I found Caleb sitting at the dinner table in the corner, scribbling, with my math book in front of him. Oh crap! Whoa! That's not- is- hey! I almost dropped the milk on the floor in my rush to stop him. My math level was my third most closely guarded secret after my dad's job, and now I'd given away number two and number three in one day. I knew I shouldn't care, but come on. Other guys at school took it like a personal offense that I dared to be smarter or study harder or whatever it is that I did. If they were nice, they treated me with pity, like I had to have some kind of horrible social deficit to make up for it. Poor naive Jace, I bet his mom ties his shoes. My school didn't even offer calculus, so I had to take an independent study period for a correspondence course with the local college just to keep progressing, and I made sure everyone thought I was goofing off. I tried to apologize for it. Hey, Caleb, that's not really... You know, that's... Caleb slid a sheet of loose leaf across the table. He'd done my homework. Hey, hey, a nerd like me. Yeah, there's something calming about calc, right? He said it with a capital C when he said it. Like it's the key to another reality or something. I chose my words carefully with a little smile. Well, technically relationships between all matter run on differentials of various functions, you know? Mass the underpinning of the way the world works. It's the essence and the truth of things. Or it's our way of describing it and the world doesn't work on anything. A dark glare glittered under the hair falling over his face as he looked away from me. I swallowed and looked away from him to pour a glass of milk. I felt shut down. Man, who was this guy, weirdo, liking my couch and beating up my classmate and doing my math homework? Crap, this guy just took out like 10 people in front of me. He could probably kill me with this glass like the Joker in that Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns. Hey, I have to study, I said, trying to indicate that stranger meet and greet time was over. Whole bunch of problem sets I have to finish, so... Caleb flipped like a coin. The glare never existed. Now he grinned like a little boy, freshly declaring war on the girls' treehouse. Race you, he said with twinkling eyes, so you can finish your problem sets first. If I win, you gotta tell me why you stole that guy's wallet. No, oh, man, maybe some other time. I really need to concentrate and stuff. It's been cool, but... All the words that could have come out of my mouth milled around somewhere between my brain and my sinuses. Look at this guy, just so happy about my homework. How could anyone say no to that? Then again, I'd learned the hard way to play it safe. Man, but look at this guy's torn jeans and stuff. Torn because he'd worn them too long, not because he bought them that way. And the mud on the Batman backpack he still hadn't taken off, and the bruise forming over his cheekbone. I mean, who knew what this dude's life was like? He probably had a reason for feeling like the world didn't work on logic, and now I was going to push him out? I couldn't imagine God smiling on that. Sure, I said. So that's how I chose to befriend the violent stranger. Caleb cracked jokes every ten minutes or so at first, but after about an hour only the intense fluttering of paper or the occasional curse over a mistake wiped his presence. I didn't say much and I didn't make mistakes. I'd never met someone like Caleb. Math was part of his identity, 
like it was mine, or mental martial arts, way to master chaos with logic. That's my book, and uh, that's me. If you want to skip ahead and read the whole book, there'll be links below to how you can get it in pre-order. It comes out August 31st, which is like next Thursday or something like that. I don't know. I don't know days. Um, so yeah, check it out. <laughs>